Hello students, in this video we'll see how to solve problem 8.2.2. Problem 8.2.2 asks us to use the Heaviside function. To write the piecewise function f of t, which is 0 if t is less than or equal to 0, t squared if t is between 0 and 1. And there's no problem defining what the equal sign here since 0 and 0 squared are the same. And t if t is greater than or equal to 1. Again, by the continuity, there's no redundancy here. So what this function will look like is here is my t-axis, here's my f of t-axis, and I will have the function that looks like 0, then a parabola, then a line. That's our function f of t. And we recall that u of t, the heaviside function, is 0 if t is less than 0, and 1 if t is bigger than or equal to 0. So I can write this function in several parts. I can write this function as t squared, and then I will have a u of t, which will turn it on, and I will subtract off a u of t minus 1, which will turn it off past 1. And then I will have a t, which I will turn on past 1. And let's see what this expression, how this expression turns back into what we have over here. So if t is less than or equal to 0, this term is 0, this term is 0, and this term is 0, so we have 0. If t is between 0 and 1, then this term is 0, and this term is 0, and this term is 1, so we will have a t squared. And if t is bigger than or equal to 1, this term is 1, this term is 1, so this term over here is 0, and this term over here is 1, so we will get a t. And so generally, if you have a function that's defined as g of t on the interval t between a and b, you can say that this will be g of t, u of t minus a minus u of t minus b, and this is the formula we used two times in this problem. Thank you very much.